Ukraine declared a state of emergency on Wednesday and told its citizens in Russia to immediately come home, while Moscow began evacuating its Kiev embassy in the latest ominous signs for Ukrainians who fear an all-out Russian military onslaught. Shelling intensified in eastern Ukraine's Moscow-backed rebel regions, where Russian President Vladimir Putin has ordered the deployment of Russian forces as, quote, peacekeepers. They are ready. Pentagon spokesman John Kirby said that of the 190,000 Russian troops and rebel forces in the area, around 80 percent are in combat-ready positions. Russian forces uh, continue to uh, assemble uh, closer to the border. Um, and, uh, and put themselves in uh, uh, an advanced stage of readiness to, to act, uh, to, to conduct military action uh, in, in Ukraine, again, uh, at virtually uh, any time now. There was still no clear indication, however, of whether Putin will launch an assault on Ukraine with the troops he has gathered near the border. But Moscow on Wednesday said separatists in the east had asked for help from Russia to repel what it called aggression. White House spokesperson Jen Psaki called the move a false flag operation. That we have expected to and laid out the playbook uh, to see. Uh, this is an example of it. That is suggesting that they feel under threat. By whom? The Ukrainians that the Russians are, are threatening to attack? So Ukraine's foreign minister said he had demanded an urgent meeting of the U.N. Security Council to address the matter. That President Putin will not stop by himself. Meanwhile, the 30-day state of emergency in Ukraine restricts the freedom of movement of reservists, curbs the media and imposes personal document checks, according to a draft text. Kiev has also announced compulsory military service for all men of fighting age.